fun. Or the spirit of murderous intent towards puppy. Yes. That's but, a closer way to... I mean, it was fun for... It was fun for what it was. To watch. It was like a stomp, like a 25-minute stomp, but it was a good game in that regard. Mm -hmm. Secret played well. I hope they don't split this series, because they split everything, but not this one. There's, there's too many meme jokes to yeah. do off the back of that. <sighs> that's I another Earth Spirit like loss. That's a trap. Dude, that's another Earth Spirit loss. Another ES loss, but hey, not a first, not another Bat Rider loss incoming. Um, what was Bat Rider's, Bat Rider's win rate? We had 25% on Dro, we had... 25% on ES, but ES had played like four on... extra games. Bat Rider is 23? No, Earth Spirit. Oh, uh, he's now 23? Yeah, Bat Rider is 47 over second highest. Uh, is he the second highest pick rate? I think so. Yeah. Oh, what, 23 matches? 47%. It's right. not bad. Earthshaker, 25. 56%, Toby. This man. Sounds like a good hero to pick up their IGV and said they're doing the China special. It's, uh,. Weaver first phase. You know why? Why? I will explain it to you. Because they think that Weaver counters Batrider. Why Weaver? Because, especially in the laning phase, he doesn't care. Because there's no way that Batrider should be able to keep up with Weaver, right? If okay. Batrider goes on you with Firefly, you just go in the direction with, you know, Sukuchi. And you have kill potential, because you can you can just throw bugs at Weaver, or uh, bugs at Batrider, and Batrider hates bugs. Did you know that, Toby? Bats hate bugs. I did know that, but what about Manta Riders? Mm. Does Manta really care about bugs? True, that's a bit different, but Bat Seed still hate bugs. It's still a bug bat no matter what. It's called Bat Rider, not Manta Rider. I know, but like, what was the stupid freaking thing that Sin said the other day? It's uh, because it's it should be a, a bat a bat raider because he's riding a ray, a manta ray. Oh my god, I hate Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not even logically attached. It's wonderful. Uh, but what about the old accounts? Like, what happened to, like, Slark, for example? Batrider, we've seen a big a big move up on him. What about Slark? He used to be the old, the old counter to a Batrider with so many draw ranges being picked up as well. Like, there was a game with Dro and Bat in it, and they just bypassed the Slark. Or is he just not a, not a thing at the moment? Slark? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> okay, that's not a thing. Let's see if Slark's been picked. <laughs> it's a Ricky. Can, I, can we check here? Slark. Slunk? Slunk has one game with one loss. <laughs> Who was it played by, though? I don't even want to know, honestly. <laughs> you want to know the unplayed heroes? In what draw? Oh, Monkey King actually got picked. Yeah, Monkey King got one game today, I think. Yeah, I think Liquid picked it or something. Abaddon, Bane, Klinx, Huskar, Lion, Meeps. Techies can't be picked. Correct. He's the only hero okay. who cannot be picked. Thank you, Ice Frog. Omni Knight, Pudge, Sky, Spectre, Warlock, Undying, Tiny, and Wraith King. I'm surprised Omni Knight's not getting a. I'm more surprised that. Um, let's see. Who's have, the most? Uh, Warlock and Pudge are not bad. We had we had Warlock in almost every tournament leading up to Ti. He was the thing. He was the He was the. The big team fighter. I mean, people are willing to play Chen over Pudge and Warlock. Yeah, see, see, what we're missing is for half of those hero picks, we don't have Faceless here. Mm. Like, if Faceless were here, they would have they would have 100% picked up Wraith the King. The Black Pudge? Uh, Black Pudge, uh, Wraith King. They love Wraith King. Even though, like, when they build him, Black's just says, like, Black told me himself, like, he's just like, I, I hit with my Wraith King, and I, and I know I need two lives to actually kill somebody. Because I don't do enough damage. Because he just goes full tank. Creates more space for Ice Ice Ice. Anyway. Dude, Dazzle hasn't lost a game still. Ten seconds. <laughs> it's so cool. You're still running on what? It was a six game sample size, right? Yeah, Ricky's 0 and 1. Alright. It's not great. What's Kunkka? Kunkka's got a 71% win rate over 14 games? What the what? And he's got a 4 KDA? He's the new king, bro. Oh my god, I, I feel like people should just draft off of Dota buff stats. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 you can't gobble black this situation. You can't just take the hero. Is that what he does? Uh, I, I don't know if he does it off Dota buff. He takes anything which he feels is imbalanced or will always win games and just picks five of those heroes. Mm. That was what he did like three years ago. That was what happened when uh, Team Empire competed at uh, TEI that three years ago and they were meant to win everything and they got knocked out in the group stages. I wish... Uh... Nahas was here. He could draft for us. 
Nas, Nas just would pure stats. What pure stats? What kind of lineup could you think of? No, dude. By the time we actually finish explaining why the Weaver was picked up, the draft would be over with Nas. <sighs> love you, old man. I love you, Alan. I really do. I some these kinds of conversations don't show it, but <laughs> I really do like Alan a lot. Oh yeah, happy birthday to Nas, by the way. Oh, uh, he turned seventy-four. He. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, Toby? That's not fair. <laughs> it's not accurate. <laughs> He's not that much older than me. Again, Nas. <laughs> really big fan of yours. <laughs> so the problem is now that like like Blitz is a lean, mean fighting machine. He looks like twenty years younger again. It's... Come fight me. <laughs> it's, no one can, apart from your dad. I hear is able to win an arm wrestle. Oh, he destroyed me. It wasn't even close, Toby. <sighs> Old man strength. Yeah. That's why I'm the only person I'm afraid of is an horse. The old, old men have stamina. No, nope. old men are meant to have more stamina than the young guys. No, dude, they have the strength. They've got the old man strength from years of hardship. Did I tell you the time like uh, I went to the gym with Jacob? Yeah. And yes. like I, I was like, I gotta get in shape. I've got to actually start working out. And Jacob's just like, Yeah, let's do those arm machines. And like, there's like you know, like the ones where you do like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that that, that I, I'm, I'm literally doing a physical thing when we got audio only going out. Um, like when you pull your arms together and you lift your weights up from behind you. It's a peck fly. A peck fly. Okay, it's a peck fly. Uh, so Jacob was really impressed. He managed to get up to a certain weight. Uh, and I was there with Jan and. Uh, and Jan's just like, yeah, yeah, no, we need to put extra weights on there. And Jacob was so proud. He managed to, like, he's like up another 10 kilograms on the peck fly. And I had to put another 30 kilograms on for me to actually lift that bloody thing. And, and Jacob was just there. He's just like crushed. Like, I'm completely out of shape. Dude, Jacob tapped and, Anders' and man happened. is a tiny man. He, dude, his, his arms are twigs. Yeah, he's a tiny dude. Yeah. I'm surprised that guy doesn't get snapped more often. He's a. He, I I hope he gets in a Dota next year. I'd love to see his team lose. <laughs> <laughs> the North is coming. That's when we find out the White Walkers were actually oh, defeated. Oh, that's a lich. That that is a lich. I have not been the biggest fan of this hero, and here's why, Toby. Because uh, I feel like it, you don't have a lot of team fight. Hmm. You're annoying. That's the biggest thing. You're annoying. Lich is very annoying, but it doesn't feel game winning. But I have been proven wrong because I just checked his stats, mm -hmm. and over 16 games, 50% win rate. There's a combination which I saw early today, which was with Faceless Void. It was coming back as the first two, so they were going Void and Lich in the first two. It's not uh, just the Chrono that's and it good was, with it. It was brutal. Yeah, uh, you couldn't get away. And and uh, Dark Seer as well was another combination with the Lich. Yeah, it's not just the Chrono though that makes it good. It's the laning phase because you can go dual off lane. It's a bother, but that is a Doom Bringer. This is a super run at you lineup. IGV were like, last time we didn't have enough run at you heroes that were a little bit off the wall. This time, instead of a. Was it a Brewmaster? They've got a Doom it was, Bringer? It was Team Empire who ran a very, very similar lineup uh, in their series early today, but they ran Lich Doom Bringer, and you thought it was just going to be a dual offline, and they ended up. Uh, Switching the lanes up and uh, actually running it as a safe lane at the start, and they switched the lanes out so Weaver was off with one. All right, IG. All right, last yeah. hero predictions. Let's go. Last hero predictions. Last hero predictions. Well, what are we missing? We're missing the one position from Team Secret, and the mid from IG Vitality. Let me let me check my cheat sheet because I got this bloody thing for a reason. Mm hmm. Up against the Doom, someone that can at least tank through the Doom, deal the negative armor from the Weaver. Ten seconds remaining. I got enough for lockdown and potential control. Five seconds but up against Frost armor as well. They could just go for safety, they could just go for... <laughs> I'm like, they can go for Arc Warden. <laughs> It'd be a real pain in the ass. Okay, I think they'll pick uh. Vipes. On IG Vitality. <laughs> Viper is your go to and hero and everything. I think Secret will play. Is Ursa any good here? Ten seconds. Uh, I will say. They need a hero that can one on one, and I thought that would have been Ursa. MP's hero so far Necro Void PL. Um, Void would have been okay. and Ursa. Is, is his go to. Ooh, so heroes. Ursa is there. But yeah. Ursa doesn't synergize very well with 
this game. What about that? Like, apart from Viper, what else would you go for IGV? I... <laughs> <laughs> there is no other choice. Uh, it's Viper, Viper, or Viper. Viper. Uh, Queen of Pain? TA? No, TA is quite bad against... You need someone up against the Invoker. Yeah. TA's not bad against... If, if it was a one-on-one -on -one like that, I would What say. happened to our to OD? Oh yeah, I forgot about Sven as well. Sven's okay. Yeah, Sven. Good physical damage, good against like, OD? Slide the Weaver. Uh, yeah. OD, OD for IGV. OD just doesn't feel like it wins games anymore. What is it? It's a Lycan. Oh, Lycan. The, That's... Uh, we can thank Arteezy once again. It's interesting. He's been spamming the crap out of that. Like they Everyone just has been spamming the crap out of that. There's just it's just how buff up, how buff up, how buff up. Liquid has also been spamming the crap out of it. The uh, the really cool combination they did uh, was um, the offlane enchantress by Universe. They ran it two games in a row, uh, and what they would do is they would have Dro Ranger, and they would turn on the aura, steal a catapult. And the catapult did like 120 damage oh, that's in cool. one hit. They would always get the last hit on the towers. Oh, that's awesome. IGV. I just want to see somebody get vipered. Storm. Whew. Storm. Does it work? Does it work? I will say that my one of my least favorite heroes to play against as the uh, the blue man himself is Ricky Maru. You know as to how your blue man is insanely small? Man, yeah. I got really... It's it's only on the right side that like it's only for like these side heroes, especially on the radiant, where he seems to be like half a half a meter backwards than the rest of the team. He's short. Yeah, it's Don't like worry, it's man. like a baby storm. My man's gonna go on P90X and carry this game. The, okay, so storm against a Ricky, like is a Ricky meant to cause so many troubles with smoke screen? Oh, Toby, let me explain everything about this hero. <laughs> I love it. Do this it. is the first game I've casted storm in a year or something. Lay it on me, man. Ooh, it's, this is perfect. All right. What, what, so, what, what does he worry about? What does he like? The annoying part about Storm is two things. It's like, one, you like to just farm in peace, and Ricky bothers that. Two, it's, you have very, so Ice Rog, hallowed be thy name, has given my boy Storm very mediocre move speed, because of course he doesn't really need to run fast, mm -hmm. since he, you know, he zips, he zaps, and so getting out of the smoke screen, you know, it has the movement speed slow as well. It's quite annoying. Yep. In terms of like the pure matchup, uh, every time I see, when I saw it was OG versus, it's OG versus EG, if you go watch them play, it was a Storm versus Invoker matchup, Storm won quite handily, because that was the game that Sumail decided to go Blink Storm, and everyone started asking me, well, is Blink Storm viable? But it was like, because the game was viable. So that actual matchup is quite nice for Storm, but the Ricky does complicate things. There's going to be a part of the game where Sakata says, uh, screw it, and he gets a BKB though. Okay. And that's when things are going to be fine. But he needs like two defensive items this game. He needs a Blink and a Lincolns to be useful. That's That seems like a lot of farm without uh, mana regeneration coming from it. Or not enough. Like, do, you, do you delay your Bloodstone in order to get that? Or is that just like later, you later into the game? never delay your Bloodstone. Bloodstone's always item number one. Bloodstone is numero uno. Although, I theorycrafted uh, this really cool build, Toby, where you go Hurricane Pike, first item on Storm. Okay. It is... The, uh, after we just had that whole conversation of, yeah, yeah, Hurricane yeah. Pike is way too expensive for everything it offers. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to know how it went? I... I am assuming not well. It was horrible, Toby. <laughs> it was horrible. Don't ever do it. Don't ask me about it. it. It doesn't seem to make a hell of a lot of sense. Like, maybe if you had a Drone Ranger buffing you up for DPS... Toby, then... it made no sense. <laughs> then why did you try it? I don't know. So, I could try everything once. No, maybe it's because you were playing too close to Jack most times, and uh, it's just rubbed off on you to make... Dude, Jack's a genius player. How dare you? <laughs> really? I've never seen a man play more Dota than Jack. <sighs> he plays 20 games a day, but... Sakata... Okay... I think if I was a 12k player, I could carry this game a storm. Okay. So if I was, I was just he's not 12k. If I was double as good as I am, I think I could win this game by myself a storm. So you, you're putting that much pressure on it. If I added like your MMR plus miracles, then <laughs> Sakata could probably carry this game. I love how you assume my MMR. I don't that, need to, I don't need to assume, Toby. It's an educated guess. That's, that's 13k, bro. You just hit 13k. <laughs> it's an educated guess. 
Actually, that would actually be 13k if you added the two of them together. It's all good, Toby. I'm proud of you. Hey, I, I got closer and I'm closer. I'm not trying to MMR shame. Yeah, you are. That's exactly what you're doing. MMR is more than the number to you. That's true. This game, though, uh, it's quite a good storm game. And more importantly, I think Kunkka's more annoying than Ricky is. Oh, this is a good way to make a storm game fun. Already beating the crap out of Invoker. Yeah. Look at Storm's move speed, though, Topes. Yeah, it's it's not great, but if you don't have to run away... The, the one hero that's worse than his in this game... Yeah, it's Invoker. <laughs> So, t 280 versus 285, <laughs> literally by 5 points, that's all. And it looks like Puppy just doesn't want to be part of this. I suppose if he does, he's going to take damage from Remnants too much. Uh, I still felt like he would have made a difference here. I think At he's waiting for the Courier too. Yeah. This is like a really weird matchup because it's the battle of two mid-heroes that can't kill each other. Because if you think about it, what does Storm do to kill, really have kill potential on Invoker and vice versa, right? Unless Invoker's too far out, then yeah, you're right, it won't yeah. happen. But now you got the double wave underneath the tower. And Invoker's... Actually, Invoker's still got a hell of a lot of CS, and the fact that mid ones managed to hold the creep wave in between the towers... No, this is fine for him. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you get double wave, but you're able to farm it out. It's like, no problem. God, Puppy has been waiting forever for this courier. Like... Oh he, no. And he's not even going to get it. Dogfight is... Oh, he's going to give it... Oh, they're so smart. Yeah. He has one iota of experience so far, Toby. He's going to get this... Uh, <laughs> he's going to get this rune. Send. No, all right. Radiant Sentry's down. Unfortunately for uh, IG Vitality, one thing not going right for them is the fact that Sentry's too far north. It doesn't see the obs. <laughs> but in July, is using his Observer Ward just behind the tower to, to leech the experience off Yapsaw. Mr. Support Batrider, something we haven't touched on at all so far in this game. This top lane, though, it's going pretty well. Like, this Doom is doing fine. It's easy harassment, too, right? Like, MP comes in, you just smack him with Infernal Blade. You saw uh, Cloud9 doing something similar with, yeah. uh, well, so with the Support Doom in that game, though. That's the upside of playing against a Ricky Batrider support duo. That is such an incredibly greedy support duo. Neither of them have a stun. They don't really pressure very well. Batrider, of course, we saw yesterday in OG versus DC, where Dubu played it, but at the same time, he had a Sand King. So it wasn't as greedy. Uh, Puppy is wasting so much... I, I want to say so much of his own time, but it's also... Oh, yeah, Absol. Uh, actually, with the Frost Blast and the Infernal Blade, he just lost his Firefly. Oh, this could be quite first dead, blood. sir. Uh, one more attack from Super would do it. He turns around for a Sticky Napalm, but that lets in July come in range. And first blood goes the way of the offlaner of IGV. Yeah. And in July at the same time, he got very lucky. He picks up the best creep in the game. Is it? Maybe the HP regen one is quite good too. It's a toss up. It's close. Uh, one lane to flag is the lane with the largest amount of deny so far. It's Kezu. Down on bottom lane against Paparazzi. So 14 1 against a 15 11 clockwork. He's yeah. already got the PMS, so it looks like Paparazzi's harassment is doing little to no. He went like he went problems. the correct build on clock. He went PMS into wand. That's exactly oh, how you Poppy, Here you go. Here you go. You waited. You waited four minutes for this, and you, oh, you waited yeah. four minutes for this. <laughs> Puppy. Ah. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> Puppy. Oh, that's so disappointing. Uh, after the unkillable witch doctor. In game one, he cannot kill a donkey. That is... That was not the expenditure of time that you were looking for. He's level two, but he has managed to steal a lot of the runes. He stole the haste rune away from the Kunker, and actually made it so Kunker walked all the way down to the bottom rune to grab it. That was uh, just after the two-minute mark. Yeah. So, he has been a nuisance. They want to kill mid, by the way. Look, if he gets his torrent, they're going to follow up with the Frost Blast. Sakata's going to come in, too. He skilled the, the pull for this. Yeah, they really wanted it. But now, with the Ice Wall mid one, X Mark Spot pulls him back over Oh, again. he misses the hiker! And now, trouble! They've got him! They still managed to pick him up. Yes. And, interestingly enough, uh, Sakata, by the way, went for the double Noltasman build, which... In July? In July, an MP, ring a ring a Rosie, a pocket full of MP, and uh, well, no tissues. Tissues? Who's gonna fall down? I <laughs> just keep running around in circles. Cue Benny Hill theme music at the moment. <laughs> no one wants to touch it. He's just gonna walk away. But at the same time, this is not how you wanted to start the lane. MP gonna get Infernal Bladed. 
The salve is still on in July, so he feels comfortable diving for this. MP doesn't have a TP, trying to oh, eat his way deeper. Yeah, he actually cut through with the Quelling Blade to start with, then eats Two the seconds. Tango. And a little bit further down, cuts in another way. Back oh, he over gets to the Creep wave in July, doesn't get all the way through. When his own creeps work against him, they're only ah. minions, they don't know the greater plan. They weren't working with him, Toby. They weren't working with him. But at the same time, this is still... That's a level 2 Ricky, Toby. Hang on, did Yapsaw just steal the stack? I think Yapsaw may have just stolen the stack uh, that was being prepared for the Storm Spirit. There was, there was a triple stack in this camp and it was blocked up by the Observer Ward. And Yapsaw, I just saw him disappear with almost no mana, but now three and a half levels. It looks like they want to try to go for mid. He's going to summon the Forge Spears right before he hits six. They dropped the Cloud. But that is a level 2 Ricky. Can't have any impact. MP's dead again. Well, I say again. Ish no, no, no. <laughs> He's so good at that. <laughs> he just walks out. Oh, mid lane, mid yeah. one, gonna get gone on. X Mark Spot's gonna drag it back in. He's gonna play from the other side of the ice wall. The oh. sentry ward is down, so Ghost Walk will not allow him to escape. This has been so brutal for him. Even though he has good CS, so does the Storm. And again, they need. Puppy to start having some impact in this game because this yeah. Kunkka right now is just cleaning up. Are well, they bringing Kezu instead? Mr. Level 6, Mr. Highest Net Worth on the board. They were hoping that he was going to go for the Shrine up in that area, but instead he's going to go for the Bounty Rune and probably Shrine up at top, yep. which is what I would imagine he does. He's pinging in July, doesn't really need this. Super needs it. Dogfights needs it. Yeah. So that's quite a bit of time expenditure, but, uh, expenditure by Kezu, who thought he was going to come bottom. Probably yes. gets a. He probably gets a kill too. As a mid deals. laner, how do you feel when you use the off laner shrine? Oh, you feel amazing. <laughs> when you keep your shrine up, you're just like, that's a that's another free three bottle charges, essentially. Oh, they dusted. It's Ricky Illusions. They've gone on both of the illusions, but not the real puppy. 180 gold down. Or oh, 90 gold. That's like the most minor nuisance. Nothing but the fake. Yeah, you're slightly bothered by that, Toby. That's a hangnail. And you get triggered. A little bit. But you've just got the happy feelings of taking someone else's shrine that's not yours. So, uh, balance in everything. Don't. Exactly. In July, it's just like, guys, come on. I'd full everything. You don't need to do that. And this Doom gonna make his rotation over too. They don't have wards for this. Mid one is playing a little bit scared. He's oh. gonna send the Forge Spirit north. Very smart of him. In July, gonna check for the rune. Doesn't get it. It's in fact bottom as Yapsor picks that up, and this rotation is going to fail, but nothing really lost as Lich manages to soak up the XP at top, going to get his 10. Hook shot. Yeah, dogfight. You taught that. You taught that. You just got trapped inside the cogs. The Sunstrike will connect and mid one. That's a big It's a much need to kill, but does Puppy and Kezu get out of this? With Paparazzi here, he throws out the swarm, already hitting into Kezu as well as Puppy. Puppy back into Invis, puts down the smoke screen, trying to buy more space for this clockwork, who has seven one charges available, puts in the cogs. Paparazzi will to burn himself if he wants to get out of this, which he does not want to. Yeah, it's completely out of mana. And they're going to get out scot free. Invoker gets a kill, and he gets the full wave of CS as a result. Gets the kill with the Sunstrike, doesn't have to be there. Forces the Storm to use all his mana and that rotation. Pretty good for Secret, despite the early go of things. The one lane which is really problematic, though, is still MPs. Like, you want a net worth on this like, and he's at 2.2k net worth. He's down in the middle of the pack, and he's meant to be the Alpha Wolf. Or Dog. A... <laughs> uh. Uh, that's my first pun of, the, pun of the cast. I like that. Yeah. That was a... I'll give that... Get a V score. plus. You won scorecards? Get it? A I v? also did it. A V plus. <sighs> Alright, Toby. I tried for that. Yeah. I shot my shot. I've got no regrets. <laughs> Reaching. Reaching. Paparazzi's having the time of his life on bottom now. More space for him, and uh, he's catching up very, very quickly to the net worth, but it's IGV who are making the play. In July has been pressuring this top lane so hard. MP doesn't have a wolf to scat at anything, but Kezu's rotated up, and so is Yapsaw. Mr. Level 5 Yapsaw, they hook shot forward over towards Kunker. Once again, the target of Kezu's hatred. And Dogfights keeps his run going. Meanwhile, the dog oh, pushing he's taunting. in July, and now well, he may as well, right? Because he's got friends arriving. It's the Sword Spirit, so he may die, but it may be also for the greater good. Kezu has had to rotate back over 
Interesting to see that the that the Lycan didn't go with him. Instead, he was pushing the other two heroes back. Yeah, and meanwhile, again, this is all just space created for mid one, who, despite starting the game 0-2, picks up a kill for himself. One and two, just doing fine in net worth, no issues whatsoever. Is it's gonna be an 11 minute minus. They're doing so much for this storm mid, and yet, I mean, this invoker has not suffered that much. TP's to bottom lane. You can actually say hello to MP. So, lane switch up, they'll let Yapsaw take the top lane. Probably the one that can survive underneath the tower, even though there is four points up in Scorched Earth. He only went one point up in Deval for the Doom. So, in July, he's got the big regeneration, and he's eyeing off that tier one tower. He's gonna Doom for this. He uh, needs to if he wants to kill. Frost Blast and oh. Infernal Blade. He doesn't want to Doom. The Lasso dragging him back underneath the tower into the Sun Strike. It will miss. Both oh, in hits. July as well as Super, but they'll still... Okay, maybe in July can't take that tower. With the help of dogfights and a creep wave, they can. And in fact, dogfights are just going to come in and be denied. <laughs> really needed that Sunstrike to hit. Would have gotten the kill on the Doom. Maybe even potentially save your Batrider. Actually, Bat was probably dead. They're going to the attempt Kukko's to kill Paparazzi. Kezu's going to go for this hook shot in. They Pop. need the hook into the smoke into... They got the combination on the Kunker last time. Yeah. Just hold him inside the cogs and uh, Puppy can do the rest. Yeah. Then you load up with the Sun Strike, which they're waiting for right now. Mm -hmm. Invoker needs to queue it up. They don't have Hal. So Paparazzi will show himself. Okay, so he's still looking for the angle, but if he fires the rocket, then Paparazzi is fully aware of what's going on. And Puppy can't go in underneath the tower. That's more suicide. So dogfights will arrive. Ghost ship, it, ghost ship is available. So they have that big ulti oh, combo. So the ship is on its way. And well, dragged back in the Lycan in dog form. Starts his run. He needs to survive the hook shot fallen. Kezu traps in dog fights. The Sunstrike will get the kill. Super couldn't do much to stop it, but Kezu getting out of this one alive. Maybe problematic, but here comes Yapsaw. The Doom is on him. The Firefly is down. So Paparazzi Ninja Live burning inside of that. But Puppy attempted the denial on his teammate. Unable to achieve it, however. Yeah. And yet, this Ricky gonna stand bottom again doesn't have too much impact here. Is he's only level five? Not the kind of engagement that you wanted. As he blinks forward, drops that smoke screen, tries to stop the tower from I think going. Storm wants mid. Gonna he's try gonna, to go for the deny. He's gonna double damage rune. Yeah, he's gonna kill mid one. He's just taking him from from hero to well 173 HP, and then oh, Kezu. You really want to do oh, this? Yeah, he, I don't think he's realized that was a double damage rune. Jump forward, couple of one charges are available. He'll trigger him. He's Phase got one boost, more movement speed up the hill and away. They'll be able to shrine and stay alive in July was nearby, but not close enough to really get the kill. And now he's got to get out of this as Sakata, good attempt by him, but not quite enough mana. This is going to push him away, but mid Cold one, he's snap. there. Yapsaw needs he's to hold a good position. Here goes your Lich ulti. It's bouncing back in towards Yapsaw. Oh, this Down is not the fight you want to take. It's too much damage onto Team Secret. Mid one will fall. He'll actually go down with Yapsaw. Triple kill for in July. The Doombringer brings the hate! And Team Secret lose three in the mid. Lich ulti effective, huh? <laughs> that was so good by them. IGV, they ran all the way from bottom anticipating the fight. They didn't have a TP, Toby. They ran all the way up. They anticipated that engagement. They popped the shrine. They were so confident. They're thinking to themselves, the storm has 100 mana. We're going to get a kill on him. Instead, it's the turnaround. IGV sandwiched them. And it's just a massacre. And once again... I don't want to harp on this too much, but this Ricky, I don't know if it's just the function of the pick, but he's just not had a real purpose in this game. Well, if, if there was a courier snipe, it would have been more. He's, he took a couple of bounty runes, the combination with the clockwork, you can understand the logic behind it at least. Of course, but, but IGV's just playing the position perfectly. Yeah, he just... I think it's more, it's less a puppy and more just the hero pick itself. Yep. Hasn't been able to have the kind of impact. Torrent's gonna miss his target. MP going into dog form with a ship flying over the top and with the help, that's a, still a very big storm spirit to try and kill up. They're attempting it. MP, run away, get that bug off you. Let kids who do the work, the sun strike, it can't oh, this storm is all in for this. Oh, at least he can get one mid one's there to help out. He's already got the kill on Paparazzi because he missed the timeless moment. And with a vision from the rock and a quick jump, dodges the last attack, tornado, it picks it him up does he die from the fall yes he does mid one gets the two biggest kills he could have asked for he gets the storm and he gets the weaver
That was such an overcommitment by Sakata. He really wanted that Lycan kill, but probably not worth it just to feed Invoker all that net worth. Invoker who just died all the way on top of the net worth charts with those two core pickups. Now Secret making their rotation into mid. Yapsor doesn't quite have that blink dagger. Instead opting to go for the drums. This Lich just holding the lane. They're just waiting for their course to respawn, but IGV with a slight overextension gonna blow their gold lead just by a little bit. 140 damage catapult. <laughs> it's the alacrity of the catapult. Just watch it hit it once when the uh, when it's an auto. The alacrity's gone now. It's no longer. I was gonna say, Toby, that was incredibly mediocre. <laughs> no, 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 the first hit was really. I know, good. I know. I, just was just <laughs> I saw the first one. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that rider. You oh, line me up. Vortex him back in. That's a three man rotation. They know puppies behind that tower, too. Maybe they think there's a ward behind there. Would probably be a waste of a sentry though, considering that there is not. Dog fights to bait him out. Like, you want to kill our courier? I can still kill you. Actually, doom, puppy, though, puppy is worth less than a courier at the moment. This doom Toby is incredibly farmed. He's taken no. the 80 devourer gold bonus gold. On top of that, he's got a shadow blade and a drums. There's no way that mid one is really safe. You've got to sit heroes behind him. That hero is going to be Kezu, who, despite having such a good start, remember we talked about how many denies he had, how well he was doing. And if you want to talk about it, the denies probably came from his uh, his cogs. Very true. So it was nowhere near as impressive as it looked. Yeah. But his CS was good. And at bottom, no one's here to defend this tower. Impressive. But getting damage. this mid tower would be good. Yeah, it's gonna be a trade off. They're letting Super do it at the moment. Uh, oh, top lane, Yapsaw's in trouble. Uh, in July, kind of cannot get close enough to him. Drums oh, his actually, he can to get the Infernal Blade. Yapsaw again, turning just to lead that. Cheeky sticky napalm. That is a lot of damage though. You've got to be careful in July. Sunstrike is still available. Sakata gonna go make his move for this mid tower. Okay, Team Secret have just had enough. Like, okay, we're not taking a fight, we're just gonna try and take towers. I took the tier one tower on bottom. Now they've burnt the fortification. Kezu's ready to initiate. They've got the best vision on the map in this area. Everything to everything to the north they see, everything else could be hookshotted by they Kezu. They should give up this tier two tower at bottom though. This is a significant tower. It was a full HP tower. I guess they don't have any TPs, so they don't go for it. But they're it rotating is mid now. that they lose that. And they just don't want to fight the Lycan. Is that it? Like, like they feel like Lycan's hit a point very strong. We've, we've seen the Lycans at least. Like, I'm going to use Arteezy because I've cast two, three of his of, li of his Lycan games already, where he goes for this early Necro book. Hey, puppy, get a courier now. Um, actually, it's all been worth it. it. Yeah. Okay, puppy now has a purpose again. Uh, but it's the fact that you get these Necro, like he just rushes Necro on the Lycan. And it's around this time he does so much damage. And so much push power, but this is a, a not that type of Lycan. In fact, he was looking at Diffusal Blade, now he switched himself to Echo Saber. Yeah, I don't know why he was opting to go for the Diffusal at first. I feel like he needs a little bit more damage more than anything. Or to turn himself into a Roche taking hero, which Echo Saber does for you. I think going for the Necro build though, doesn't really have a lot of viability here. Just because the storm doesn't care about that, right? Yeah. Eventually, you're going to want to uh, put yourself into a build where you're going to go a Blissful Blade. And that's going to be a storm with a Bloodstone. Good observer ward. Watches mid one very, very closely. And X marks the spot. They'll commit the Kunker ship. Low cooldown. And X marks. I oh, was a little bit late to pull him in. Tricks of the trade as well. Smoke screen from Pumpy causing a couple of problems. But not enough. Invoker is still doomed up. Kezu has took shot at himself forward. And Pumpy back into the fight. Puts down the smoke screen on top of the Kunker. Trying to give Kezu any chance to fight. Oh, they this. at least get dog fights. out. They get dog fights, but they won't get anything else. It's a three for one trade off. Space for Yap, Saur, and MP to farm, and that is all. Yeah, immediate TP up by the Lich. Storm gonna go grab his Bloodstone, immediately gonna go into the Orchid. This is quite a farm Storm now. He has solo kill potential on pretty much everybody, as long as he's got one person with him. All he's looking to Yap watch Saur, top. up at top, he's got the Bloodstone. Charges would be good, but they don't know that he's alone. They don't have clear vision. If Yap Saur moves into the left of this, though, that'd be quite dangerous. Uh, he's just... Oh, they see him for a second. Well, flame oh, he's gonna see him now. Yeah, they definitely know. And there's your jump. Storm Spirit. Goodbye, Batrider. He came in for oh. just one more wave push. That's all he wanted with the flame break. And, uh, well, it cost him his life. Just a little bit too greedy. Sakata, good game sense there. Decides to go for it. Goes for the good talent tree, too. You can understand why, why uh, he did do it. Like, that blink dagger was so close. Was he close? Yeah, he, nah, he, really he, he, he was getting pretty close. If you could farm this wave and then just back up into the jungle, he would have had it for the next fight. Yep. But going for that extra creep wave always gets you killed, Toby. 
It does. Puppy to the bottom lane. He's got a little bit of extra help. It's going to be the hook shot at Inkezu to catch Paparazzi, but they have to keep him controlled. Smoke screen at least does wonders against the Lincoln Sphere because he doesn't care. Yeah. Would like to see him get out of here though. Feel like Paparazzi don't need those two creeps. Doesn't really change the impact of the game. The rest of your team is shoving out lanes right now. So Secret only have one move to make right now, Toby. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, just because they are shoving in mid, they still got this tower. This top area is being shoved in by Cicada. And if no one's responding to either of these lanes, then just by uh, some logical deductions, you can assume that they're bottom. That's a very educated guess. Well, oh, Sunstrike gets us from Team Secret. The Roshan is happening in July. Was already taking way too much damage. Kezu wants the hook shot. Puppy is body blocking him for the moment. Oh, yeah, and they've lost their vision. They just jump in. Kezu whops the hook shot well away. He'll get the cogs down, but the kill's already happened. As you said, the Bat Rider dies up on top. Puppy, another courier snipe. Yep, get yep, it. Yep, yep, yep. And run away. That's a max uh, backstab hit. And MP as well as mid one are going to try and force. IG Vitality to come back. There is a catapult here and they're already back. Dogfights as well as Paparazzi here for the defense. Still absolutely not worth it. You get a courier, but you lose a bat rider who Toby, remember how close he was to his blink dagger? He's getting increasingly further away. Yeah. Has no space on the map to farm. Because this invoker also has to farm. I talked about it yesterday. I said Invoker has a lot of empty net worth. Because at the end of the day, you've got a Hanamitis and an Aghanim Scepter, but you've got no defensive items. You need this Aghanim Scepter minimum to get into fights to begin with. And at the same time, you still want your team to set up fights for you, but this clockwork initiation against these kinds of cores of IG Vitality just simply isn't enough anymore. They need the Batrider to get this Blink Dagger to do oh, something. Oh, Tornado! Won't reach, and he didn't have his hook shot. There's a BKB up now, too, on the Doom. God damn. It doesn't get easier. It really does not. But at the same time, I'm still wondering, like, like Team 2 could still believe fully, and I think they are still in this game, because you're running the hand of Midas on both the Lycan as well as the Invoker. They're still efficiently farming up, and Yabsaw just needs to get his Blink Dagger, and he's going to do his job as a support. Jump in, get the lasso on like a half-decent target, and you're good to go. Yeah. Cogs, Cogs to split up the fight. Puppy just being the nuisance that he is. Take out Couriers. They drop a sentry ward. As Puppy broke the smoke, the dust will hit on him. Puppy dies. Nothing of value is lost. Unless MP, oh, okay, tricks of the trade. They hold in July in position. Inside the cogs, he'll burn the BKB. Doom is oh, available, doom and he puts it onto the Invoker, allowing Storm to jump That's in further. Rune Storm. They have to get back to the range of the Shrine. Lycan pulled back in the torrent. It gets both Puppy as well as MP. The Lich ulti, it bounces up and does reach the Lycan. Puppy so low, yes, the, the dust, dust will too. reveal him. Parazzi puts the hook in, and Kezu! Cogs up to the tornado oh, gets flies through as well. Will it be enough with the EMP burn? Storm Spirit, he's gonna find the kill on the Invoker mid one. No! He's invis on 33 HP. Now he'll actually commit oh, they into the Sun Strike as well as the Shrine. Mid one's back to full life. They've got the Storm Spirit. Yamsaw gets it for 555 gold. And they want more. They really want more. Kezu doesn't have a lot to fight with. He's got four staff and eight, eight, one charge that's available. Mid one's busy pushing the creep wave out. I think now he realizes his teammates are in trouble. Kezu, so low, already used the four staff, gets the bug off him in time, but the Storm Spirit is back to the fighting lines, looking towards mid oh, one. He runs though? east as far as he possibly can, out of mana, and given a juicy distraction, which is Yapsaw. Mid one back into the safety of his own tower. Puppy jumps forward. The cold snap didn't go on Paparazzi. His Lincoln Sphere protected him. The Team Secret scrambling the defense, and they did use a buyback on Puppy, and that is the only one. That was so close for them to be able to just stomp that fight. If they were able to kill the Invoker there, there's no turnout on potential, because the majority of that damage on that Storm came from that Sunstrike. Mid one barely living, though. They're keeping their hero alive. In July, he's going to have another crack. He's going to go for it again. He doesn't have Doom, though. Immediately going to go Invis. No follow-up from his team. Storm is a little bit too far away to make that full-distance jump committal. I think Puppy's hunting for the courier once more. He'll be able <laughs> to find a bounty rune. That's the life right now. Okay, does Storm Spirit pick? It's like, yeah, guys. <laughs> um, someone grab my rune. He's going to give away the position of the Ricky, but it doesn't change too much as Puppy pinging out the heroes. Yep. I'm not exactly, exactly certain what he wants for help. That's a double damage in the Storm Spirit. I would really like, oh, by the way, for... Cicada to go for a dust. 
They're smoking up. It's a three-man smoke, but they're running to the south. Now, vision-wise, the only vision they have right now is of dogfights and super in the mid, and Puppy is stalking the Storm Spirit. Push down the Observe Ward. Now they get vision on it in July. All the information is there for Team Secret to make the right choice. And it seems their choice is to piss off. They're running away. This Lich... About to get a four staff himself. The kite ability on their team is going to be insane. It's just so hard for them to keep up. And four staff, Toby pretty much renders this Ricky obsolete. Mm -hmm. Same with the clockwork. So the only heroes that can really have an impact in this game are going to be this Lycan and this Invoker. They're going to be very core dependent here. MP going to go for that uh, BKB instead of opting for that Lincolns that we so often see. There's so many different ways to counter him though, especially with this Diffusal picked up on this Weaver. What does your Lincolns really do in this situation? Mid tier 2 going to be taken and IGV probably want to try to force a fight and then go for a Roshan. If you get a Roshan on this storm, then he can just zip in all the way in for that invoker. Once you kill mid one, the fight probably ends there and after. Yep. Puppy still continuously sniping out these runes. They have to cotton on to the fact that, that he is just hopping around the back. And maybe they don't. Maybe he gets himself forced to stab the fourth courier. It did the delivery. Smoke screen is down. Puppy. Tricks of the trade just to go in. Viz starts his TP out. Sentry wall is down and Puppy will die. That's a bloodstone charge, but he did snipe the courier with the, the it orchid. It had the yeah, it had the second oblivion stuff oh, on it. Him. Wow, they actually got the weaver. They may get more. In July, he's gonna burn his BKB. That's now down to eight seconds duration. Dog fights gets the X mark spot. It's over on Kezu. He doesn't have four star for another four seconds time, and he'll be dead before that timer is out. Yeah, and it looks like they might still want to keep going, but instead IGV, a little bit too far away. In July does have that Doom available. Secret thinking if they can get any more, but that'd be just a little bit too greedy. That's fantastic for Team Secret. Like, you lose you lose your Clockwork as well as your Ricky Shaw, but you still got a kill on a Weaver. Oh, you assault at the bottom fights. tower and dogfights. Cold Snap is a real pain in the butt when you got dot effects on you. The Sunstrike will be able to connect and dogfights goes down. Mid one, finding more and more kills on this map. IG Vitality are giving more and more opportunities to Team Secret. That's exactly how you do it too. You just get these mini pickoffs, you force IGV to overextend and make this uh, Invoker incredibly annoying to play against. He's about to pick up a BKB of his own, he's got the money for it. Yeah, well, we almost got the Yields as well for, for Kezu. So he'll have himself a little bit of Disable as well. You got another 4 staff on the way for Yapsaw. They're just a little bit behind for everything. The only one who doesn't have anything is Puppy, but hilariously enough, he's got as much net worth as Lich has. Ah, it's a Lich game. You're sitting behind people. No farm for us. No farm for anybody. Puppy's getting money from killing couriers. That's good enough. He's getting the last hit in some couriers. Is that four? Counter is at four right now? I think, I think he's got three. I think he's got three. Two or three. IGV running up the mid in July, leading the charge onto the cover of smoke. I'm wondering if they're going to find anything here as IGV. Their line's drawn exactly for where mid one is. They they tried this before mid one. Uh, tornado. Oh, get the doom off. Where's the where's dust? Where's the dust? They got it. They found mid one. BKB. Ten seconds. Triggered off. He's still got the shrine to fight with. MP going to actually trigger off both Hal and Dogfall. They're coming in to fight this one. Puppy with the smoke screen and the, the trick to the trade. They bring down Super. There's no Lich ulti in this fight. And even in July, that BKB charge of his, he wanted a kill, but mid one has managed to tank the entire oh, Doom. Getting and low. Paparazzi, the Lincoln Sphere gets triggered, but he's still able to get his time lapse off back up to full life. A one for one trade off. Many. BKBs and abilities triggered for it. Yeah. And mid one showing with that BKB able to oh, survive through Don't turn around, team. dog fights. There's a four star blink dagger into Lasso. They'll get the vision, but Yapsol doesn't go for it. It yeah. feels too much like a trap. They're showing the storm up at top two. That's why Secret was able to engage that anyways and continue to chase through. But man, they really wanted to get that Doom off before that BKB manages to dodge everything. It's a 10 second BKB charge expended, but that's not a bad fight for your team. You stay strong, you stay number one net worth. Seems to be the good thing for mid one. And that advantage for IGV, it's really starting to plateau a little bit around, just shy of the 4k gold advantage. Experience is at 9k for Team Secret. Every fight which was even, just helped Team Secret gain more. Okay, maybe that was a little obvious for the smoke. He just Midas the creep in the mid lane 
Well, you don't, after they sometimes, start. sometimes, Toby, people don't notice stuff like that. <laughs> they pinged it, though. Like, okay. I GP pinged it. <laughs> but they pinged it like half a second after. Like, that creep is dead for no reason. It just keeled over from Sunstroke. Guys, now they what jump happened? in. Blink Lasso, they're holding the storm inside the smoke screen. Down so far, even the Doombringer, sent up by the tornado. The trigger is BKB, but there's no, there's actually no Doom. He'll lose the gem of True Sight. Back to the other side of the fight. Team Secret haven't lost anything, and they're taking it all from dogfights. Burning him down, the Diffusal Blade charge makes it impossible to run away. Weaver, the sole survivor with his TP out, they cannot cancel it in time. But that's four heroes lost for IGV, nothing lost for Team Secret, and the Gem of True Sight is now in the hands of Puppy, previous owner, Dogfights. And Secret completely turned this game around. They've taken the 1k gold lead on the back of such a sick fight. Every time they can jump, they can get uh, they can get the jump first, especially with those cogs. He manages to get, trap both supports in. Neither of them really able to spell cast the way they want to in a fight like that. And without your storm, he's your primary damage dealer. Paparazzi still isn't quite strong enough yet. Going for a hurricane pike. I mean, if you look at his items, two items that are just purely defensive, doesn't really scare the side of secret. They understand if we blow everything on the storm and he dies, Doom can't really do much. But now they're gonna look for a fight. Roshan is up. They want to try to do mid one in the back. Team Secret were expected to try and contest. They're observable. They're here all together. Gathered out Paparazzi. Kezu gets the perfect hook shot off Paparazzi. Well, staff, now inside the pit. Kezu, not really happy of taking that much damage, but he's happy to burn the mana off the Weaver. Bit by bit, getting caught by, by Torrent. Also not part of the plan. And then Vortex pulling back over. Flame Break creates a little bit of space. The Clockwork will fall. The EMP burn actually hits no one from IGV. So Roshan not being done, Team Secret bailed out, expecting the contest, and it came. At the same time, they're going to Shrine. It looks like they want to go for a Roshan on their own. They still have Doom available. Mid one's changing the, changing the beat. He's pushing down to the bot lane. It's a double damage rune at the bottom. He doesn't, no one actually sees that. There's no He's going to see there. it right now. But this Observer was done wonders for Team Secret, and it's done more wonders. They just smoked on top of it. So now the question they're is for like Team crazy. Secret, are they in Roshan? Nope, the Forge Spirit's already watching for that. And, and they know ping. they're coming to gank. They use the scan as well, they know they're moving upwards. Everyone's gonna go on full retreat mode. IGV, the best option to do right now is to go back, double back into the Rosh Pit, but they're afraid they don't take it that fast, which is a very real concern. So Sakata's just gonna shove in this mid lane, and sooner or later IGV should realize this smoke was bunk. I'm surprised mid one actually didn't continue the pressure on bottom lane. Like he backed out after they saw the the, uh, the scan trigger that were heading towards the north, and he just re instantly rejoined the rest of Team Secret. Four men smoke up, mid one's the front liner. He needs to push the lane out anyway. And he's pretty damn close to his own Lincoln Sphere. Yeah, once he gets it, who's gonna jump on him? He BKBs, has the Lincolns up available. I guess the way they could do it, Toby, hear me out. Yeah. They can chain frost because it goes through. And then you doom, but hold that thought. Can't chain frost when Lich is dead. Drag him back with the lasso right into the middle of the Sunstrike of mid one. God, how many consecutive kills has it been now for Secret? Despite everything going against them in the early game, their Ricky not having that much of an impact. Hold the phone for the moment. Here comes the bugs. Torrent, here goes Storm Spirit as well. Looking for a target. I don't see anyone. Mid one so quickly inside of Ghost Walk. He's got the tornado available as well. Picks up the Doombringer. They have to get a little bit more distance. Mid one, the BKB is a lot off for and this. triggered. They're trying to kill off mid one. He's target number one, and they've got him through the BKB. The physical damage is still enough. And in July, the cogs from Kezu create so much space and burn so much mana. Invoker does have buyback. Yapsaw X marks. Doesn't actually have us right timing. Yapsaw able to blink himself away to safety as Puppy continues the scouting. Still. Everyone's committing for Roshan and no one can do it. Still, a Doom is still available. And without a blink dagger, in July I starting to realize I'm never going to Doom this Invoker. Like, I can chase after him, but he'll pop BKB. Not a whole lot oh, that they can do. Yapsaw they were able to chase him down with right clicks though. Yapsaw doesn't have Firefly. The rocket will give vision. There's no hook shot. The flame break will kick in, but it's already too late. Yeah, Sakata has the Aegis now. This is full retreat mode now for Secret. MP is going to get the hell out of dodge. He was probably committing. Like, he triggered Shapeshift to be part of that. I think he just wanted to make sure that he couldn't die. Normally what ends up happening, if, especially if I'm playing Storm, after you get the Aegis, 
You're gonna try to catch stragglers that we're trying to interrupt that, mm -hmm. but everyone just got out for retreat. So dodge, evade, team secret. Does IG Vitality have the strength that they can force anything more than the tier two tower on bottom lane? I don't even think they want to force the tier two tower at bottom lane because it doesn't change the complexion of the game. What you want to do is you want to force the fight here. With the Aegis on Storm, I'm pretty sure he should feel very confident in that they can't kill him twice. Because to kill him once, it requires the Flaming Lasso every time. But now you're also walking around with double BKBs. They don't know about the one on MP, it only just got bought up. But there's one on mid one as well. And his Lincoln Spear will be completed at the end of this Ancient Camp. So That's not damage though, Toby. That isn't damage, you are correct. Storm's got that Orchid. He still right clicks for quite a bit. He can wait out that timer. What are you going to do? Lasso the Storm? And Doom, I, they really need Doom to be committed for anything as Batrider blinks forward, spots him with the gem, understands that they are coming down. Gee, I can't remember the last time I actually saw Doom have an effect in the fight, which is crazy considering his effect in the first 20 minutes. It was wonderful. Now Yabsaw is going to get some vision on Paparazzi, but that's a trap. Almost everyone from IGV is nearby. <laughs> the commitment to get that, that, that DD. Just in case Puppy was there. They they just never know. Yeah. I she gave the gem over too. Puppy's the man holding it now. Now he's finished up a blink dagger. Blink daggers are bound. It's the trick, right? You can do tricks to the trade to blink. Yep. Should be safe most of the time. Of course, if he gets gone on with Orchid, it doesn't really matter. He's going to die in two seconds. <laughs> so the plan is not to get, a, get gone on with Orchid. They still have to commit mass entry towards IGV to see this. Because that's their gem team secret have possession of. Yeah, Puppy acting as the mobile war, saying, This is my life now. This is my hill, this is mine, and not anyone else's. Yapsaw. Not visible to the remnant, he's just far enough north. But Sakata doesn't see him. Puppy continuing to play the ward role. He's waiting to see somebody else push up, but no one's doing it. Yeah. If somebody does, they can just bat right a grip into the silence and Yapsor commits the Firefly. Oh. Who's he going to get? He Doesn't manage to grab anybody. He's getting pinged out now, but... They put down the Tinker Wad. They can see everything in the tree line. That's why he wanted to go for it, but it's a little bit too quick for the Kunker to walk away. Yeah, unfortunately for him, not going to be able to grab anything. But at the same time, not really a trade as IGV. Again, they're trying to assault this bottom tier 2 tower, but what they really want is try to take a fight off of this. The wolves are doing the scouting. They saw the fact the storm spirit was sent home, just to deal with the mid tier, the mid lane. Yeah, Sakata has a DD though, and he's got Aegis. This is probably one of the best opportunities you're going to get at a fight in July. Invised up, doesn't have a blink dagger though. We've seen him not be able to get Doom off for quite some time now. That ping is they perfect. should know on the side that Yapsor is there. He's going to blink forward. Oh, he actually got one. He's pulling him back right now. It's the Kunker. They're trying to remove his big team fight. Hookshot forward, but in July, protected by the BKB. But the issue is Sakata in the back lines. He's already managed to kill off Yapsor, and they're going to find more MP. He got his revenge. It was dogfights, so it's a one-for-one -one trade off, but team fight for initiation. In July, call snap, no BKB to it's protect him. Right now, one. Strike. That damage is so oh, And he finally high. gets doomed! <gasps> the Lichalti, it bounces around, they need to get him back towards the shrine, back towards the health. That's Everyone's what they're all living for him here. Into the home, into the home, they can't get him far enough. No buyback available for 83 seconds. I'm not certain just how much damage IGV can do during this period of time, but you've still got the Aegis Immortal on the Storm. And with this Aegis, they can play very aggressively off of this secret. Without the buyback on the Invoker, have to be so careful. The Batrider can't really commit too much either without that Flaming Lasso. He does have buyback available, but how much does that change? They're just trying to bring down the Tier 3 tower right now. This will change the landscape after you're able to bring down the outside shrines, but all you need is the tier 3 tower. Four star pushing the Storm Spirit into the cloud. Puppy thinking about just beating the Storm Spirit down a little bit, but that's not going to work. Reveals himself for half a second, gets orchided up. He'll end up surviving it. They know he doesn't have buyback now, because if he had it, the Invoker would have committed it by now. Yep. IGV going to feel very comfortable about this push now. Oh, Kezu, the cogs aren't close enough. Yep, so maybe with the lasso. They do drag the Doombringer all the way back to the tier 4 towers. Paparazzi, he's going in to help out in July. Burns the BKB, but MP also shapeshifting, looking for a kill. Sakata so low, but he wants to die. He wants the Aegis the Immortal to burn because now oh, he's back gets to his full, heart, full health, full mana, and where's the jump? It ain't happening. Now it is up towards MP. X Marks will pull him back in again. Lycan commit his buyback, but he doesn't have BKB. He doesn't have shapeshift, and he doesn't have a bottom lane of right. IGV just want to get out of here. 
Invoker's about to respawn. Lycan not willing to commit that buyback, but that's a full set of racks down, like you said. They know for a fact now that Invoker doesn't have buyback. They killed this Lycan. They get a full set of racks. Nobody really dies. Very good fight for IGV. Is It was a little bit shaky there, Toby. <laughs> yeah, it was. They had some shaky moments. They had a very good start. Would you like to see the canyon is, is basically I what that is? I would love to see it as it's just a roller coaster ride of emotions oh, for Secret coming fans. back in. In July is looking for a kill. He's got the gem of true side. He knows he's not visible. Okay, now he is. He's in front of a creep wave. And the tier two tower is being pushed in by the invoker. He BT'd up there, so mid one's got no other real choice but to con continue the pressure. But if they got a little bit of extra vision, the rookie is there. Dogfight's gonna X marks the spot himself for the safety D push. Hoping that Yapsaw doesn't jump him. Yeah. Gonna be fine. As all of Secret now made their way up here. They got a free tier two tower. IGV in absolutely no hurry to fight Toby. They're not concerned with that too much at all. Team Secret are. They're, they're looking for anybody who comes out too far. IGV will find a fake Ricky. They must hate him so much right now. <laughs> that was the second time that's happened this game. If you recall. I do. But it's... Maybe it's just something, like, personal between IGV and Puppy. Did something happen? Puppy has been giving them the jukes. Wait, he gave him, he gave him the awesome juke on bottom lane. But after that, it's... Toby... Yeah, we Blitz. remember. Everyone remembers. Never, never forget. Remember, remember. Oh, they're gonna grab this ward. Uh... Torrent for vision. Ah, that's good enough. Ah, mid one's enjoying the time. That's five heroes to kill one observer ward. Meanwhile, alacrity forge spirit. That tier three tower is not a healthy thing. A two hundred damaging forge spirit. That's fine. Invoke is balanced. Oh, he's gonna go for the Doom can target Ancients. No, he's not. Wait. He thought about it, though. He was pinging. He was like, maybe if I get decent Ancients. Well, it would make sense, right? Like, but, hey, which Ancient would be the best for the Doombringer? Mm. Go for the Granite, or...? The Granite one's okay. It's probably the best one, actually. I hear well, the... Actually, what about, um... Because you can take the Purge, right? Yeah, yeah. That'd be oh, great. Here we go. Uh, Puppy's Puppy. gonna break the smoke and blink that away. Was so clowny. <laughs> Nuisance number one. The Storm Spirit. The long jump in. They're still gonna find the kill That's on Yapsor. That's an even bigger kill. Oh, why? Yapsor doesn't Scepter. have buyback. He tried to buy a little bit of time, but that was all. But reveals the fact that the Observer was there, but it timed out in five seconds anyway. That was his. Uh, he bought his Ghost Scepter. I don't know if IG are gonna feel comfortable enough to go for this, but instead, they're gonna X Paparazzi, hit this tower for free. Oh, Without no. a Batrider. Oh, the Yule Scepter at the perfect time. So X marks the spot, can't do his work. Weaver, Cog burning him up. You will be able to hit nicely with the Torrent. So Kezu, not a healthy man. X mark will be used, but there is no follow-up. Meanwhile, in July, slips through the non-detection part of the lane. Looking to get that side little pick off. In He's trying close, to find MP. And he got the Doom onto MP. He actually got it. Clockwork, back to the tier 4 towers. A quick Yule oh, Scepter up. The but the oh, is doing so much work. Mid one surrounded on all sides. The Lycan will buy back, triggering the ulti. They need some exit kills if possible. In July, Diffusal bladed up. They need to hold him there. He's invis. Oh, MP no can't vision. see him, but the Sun Strike will hit the money from mid one. Dog fights. Curry Scepter buys him time, but now the dog really does fight. Tornado will pick him up. The EMP burn will kill him if the fall doesn't. Or MP will swipe him with his claws. So some revenge kills, but the buybacks committed. It was still the Lycan. And despite all that and their two kills, the gold lead does go in favor of IG Vitality because of that buyback on the Lycan and the death on the Clockwork. It may still be worth it if they can get Roshan. They There's absolutely no do. buyback for the Kunkus, so they can get the Aegis as well as Cheese. And IG Vitality, it would take a ballsy play from the Storm Spirit to contest it. You bug into guessing for it. The Storm's still holding onto the gem. Like, if he was going to go for it, he wouldn't hold the gem. Nah, he would still do it. Because you, you just do a quick zip. Quick zip out, see what happens. The Wolves watching very closely. Paparazzi just forcing the top lane up. And yeah, they're not going to go for anything. They got creep waves to, to push back the opposite direction. Mid one will take the cheese and they give the Aegis the Immortal to the Lycan. Interesting choice when uh, Shapeshift has that 51 second cooldown time. Yeah, but at the same time he used buyback. If he dies once the game ends. Very They true. know that. 
So what, he, you just run him to the front lines and you let him tank it up? You never let him run to the <laughs> You hope he gets doomed again and survives it and through the Aegis revives and maybe they can take a lot out of that, but... Mm. It, it does make IGV a little bit more cautious about taking a straight-on fight. At the same time, Secret, there's still a huge window where it doesn't quite overlap. There's going to be a minute period where MP's not going to have this Aegis and he's not going to have buyback. So it just depends on whether IGV want to just wait that out. They can play this game patient. They're up a set of racks. I think two is usually enough to beat a team like this, especially if you look at Secret's lineup. The biggest issue is that they can't really clear Mega Creeps. They don't have the best way to deal with them. Paparazzi and Yapsaw just passed like ships in the night. They can't do anything to stop this uh, shrine from going down. Yeah, they're just trying to do whatever they can to buy some time, get some free stuff out of the way. Imagine, if, you, if you're secret, you take a fight at that shrine and you lose the game. Pointless. Yep. So, IGV well aware of that, so they're going to get some free real estate. Yeah, Observer Wards are down. Sakata was able to clean off the uh, the high ground, regeneration rune, plus having a fresh Bloodthorn now up. With the 16 Bloodstone charges, it's a, it's a happy day for a Storm Spirit. Happy day for probably people with fantasy points. Oh, it's a happy day for me too, Toby. 19.2 for anyone that backed mid one, but not a lot of people would have backed... Uh, either of these teams because they only play two series today. Yep. <sighs> Sakata. Do they see it? Do they... Do they... Because with the death of the trees they may work out there is in fact wards up there. That'd be... They they have an idea. Oh, in July. Oh, in, in July. July. He's gonna get the... He's looking for the doom. What's the target? For it. Oh, he's no! gonna get silenced. He actually jumped around. It still doesn't matter. The bow rider is down for 72 seconds. MP bird is BKB. And maybe Kezu jumping over the cliffside. They're gonna find him. He's got both the disarm from Halbert as well as your scepter. But he just uses your scepter aggressively oh, to buy some space. But Clockwork so low. Turns around. Can he cog and buy some more? Storm oh, Spirit. Gonna and go he comes it. underneath the shrine. That's very, very deep. But where's your extra control? The BKB wears off in just a second. But that second is long enough to ball lightning into relative you gotta safety. gotta be careful, in July still has Doom. Secret ping like crazy. They're saying, wait, please be careful. Hold, hold, hold. Just relax. Hold, build a wall. Build a wall. Okay, this is confidence as well from mid one. BT's down to bottom lane so he can uh, at least push it back out again. But he's the only one that can do stuff like this. Yeah, but he revealed his position by doing it. It's now okay. he's got like, Oh, IGV's not going to push in for that. I suppose you've got enough movement speed with Ghost Walk to get you back pretty quickly. So, so fast. Like in July, Mr. Haste and Mr. Five Five O. They both have five fifty. Want to see a like just a boot race? I will tell you that five fifty to five fifty, Toby. <laughs> they're going to be running at the same speed. That's when it comes down to the talent of the runners. <laughs> Strategy play, man. Strategy play. I hate you so much. <laughs> Don't wait for the best foot race ever, bro. It lasts forever. I mean, it lasts so as long as haste turn goes on. This Doom is going for a refresher orb. Yeah, sorry, I broke Blitz. So double the Dooms, double the BKBs, double the Shivas. It'll take him a while to get there, and he's still got Blink in his quick buy before it. Maybe feeling that this Shadow Blade is no longer getting him into position in the place he wants to be. Oh, they're emoting, man. They're feeling themselves. <laughs> Brutal Savage defended. Alright, so all the lanes are pushing in nicely for Team Secret, top as well as mid. They're tempering the bottom because that's the the only lane they've lost so far and IGV like okay I suppose that's one easy way to defend it's send the storm spirit way. out with X marks a spot do they have any Yules? Uh they've got one on Kezu he used it before to actually counter the X marks spot Kezu was the best player in the world he would be spam clicking that area <laughs> <laughs> just to catch him out And if they actually did that, Storm Spirit would still just have to then burn his BKB and he'd be down from 6 to 5. Alright. Unless you had enough lockdown control, but do they even have that? Like, I suppose at least he doesn't <gasps> have... Oh. <laughs> too close. It's too close. 
Yeah, so I was like, whatever, bro. Didn't even sweat. <laughs> Didn't even look. <laughs> I was already looking back at base, looking to buy my own Yule Scepter. You think I care death? Alright, they haven't worked out that there is an observer up there. In fact, I just realized too, it's not an obs in a sentry, it's two obs. They planted them at exactly the same time. Huh. It's just because they're like, oh, hang on, Storm Spirit jumping forward. He's got the gem. So sees Poppy. The silence is out, but now Blink, Lasso pulling back the Storm Spirit. Poppy though. was still going to pop from the Blood Bomb, but the hook oh, shot falls. They control. may kill him. The gem of True Side on the deck in July under the cover of his own BKB. The Doom is out, but it's already on Dog Form MP. They'll burn off the mana and maybe refresh. Rob is not so great. Refreshes still has enough mana oh, for a secondary the second Doom. Doom. It's on the Invoker. Both the Cardinals going to buy back, up, but it's worn off on MP. Watch for the Wobs. The storm right through him into the Invoker, moving on to the like and like it with no buyback. Invoker will use his, however. Here's that moon note of timing that we were talking about, where he's not going to have that buyback available. It's only 30 seconds though. IG Vitality, they had to commit that storm buyback, so they're going to be a little bit scared about this. Doesn't have the highest mana pool left over either. And mid one did the correct thing, by the way, Toby. He knows he has to buy back no matter what, so he immediately blows it. Yep. So that timer immediately goes back on that clock ticking. The Lycan will also have buyback by the time the fight happens. It's three seconds before it comes off cooldown. Yeah, and IGB, and they don't have either the do. money. All right, yep, Sol needs the Blink Lasso, but he doesn't have Firefly. It's now wearing off. Mid one will create space with EMP Tornado. Puppy wants to hold him there. That's the reason why the smoke screen came out. And four stuffs. So many available for IGV to defend. Well, this wouldn't be the first time I've seen Team Secret try and defend against Megas if it does happen to them. Oh. They had that one hour game on day one where that happened. Of course, the result then wasn't too great for them. They lost Empire, right? Uh, yes. Resolution? But yeah, Empire was... Um, yeah, yeah, that was the first day. That was the Luna game. Okay, then it wasn't the game I cast. There must have been another one. I'm trying to remember their first one. I think their first one was actually. Uh... Oh, that's right. It was. Uh, it was infamous. It was. That infamous. wasn't the first game of the day. Uh, it was the first. It was the first game of the day I cast. It was the first of game. Secret. Of okay, okay. Because they played. They played. Um, they played Empire first. Yeah. In any case, Secret. They're only one racks down. Of course, in Dota lately, one racks means absolutely nothing. Buybacks are what's important, Toby. Twelve and a half grand, eight k experience. We'll scrap that. Ah, down, that's fine. Yeah. You've seen you've seen secret win fights when they get the bad rider initiation. Yeah. They Roshan, killed the storm. Though. They forced that buyback. This Aegis is going to be huge. Yep. Aegis on storm, Toby, is the best pairing. Clockwork rocket needs to fire right now, though. And they're going bottom. They're trying to work their way around. Here goes your rocket. So the rocket's going to hit up. No, it actually flies to the top lane. They don't even care about Roshan. It's like they're trying to get the better fight and make it so the Aegis and Cheese doesn't matter. The Aegis and Cheese definitely matters, though. This they're, Aegis, They've still got the Cheese on mid one. Like, they've still got that advantage on themselves. Yeah. They don't have the buyback on them, though. So this is a pretty big commitment for In a July. fight. They want to get the jump off. Firefly is up. Yeah, Absol's looking for the target. Watch and for this bat. And now they see Super. They'll grab the Lich, pull him down. They need to kill him off very, very quickly. And have they done it? Super is still way too tanky. And IGV, they want to go for this fight. BKBs have been committed. They're leaving. It's a full retreat. Team Secret are out as fast as they entered. Like, this is like freaking, like, Panzer through the trees. Kill him and then just move on to the next target. Very fast fight, though. Yep. They're spamming, though. They're saying everyone's missing, guys. Be careful. Kazu doesn't want to throw this game. Oh. Mid one, though, wants to get that little bit of extra money. He's very close to finishing up his Octarine. A very worthwhile purchase for him. Especially since he won't have buyback for the next four minutes anyways. Yep. He might better give the cheese to the Lycan. Like, Lycan can drop his, his hand of Midas during the fight. He's already looking to finish up his Assault Cure. Lycan does have buyback, though. Yeah, he doesn't have buyback. Like oh, he does sorry, have. he does have buyback. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Invoker doesn't. Does then, like, we see the balls of mid one. Does he... Does he want Octarine? Just do it. Oh, if he doesn't have... If he does... If his buyback's on cooldown, may yeah, as well. Yeah, might as well. He's gonna farm that gold up. He's he always had a minus for it. Yeah, he has four minutes to farm. He has four minutes to farm 
1800 gold, that's no problem. Easy. Yeah. And then just hold the lane. He went for the negative 18 second cooldown timer on the tornado. So every nine seconds you can deep push the wave. The high ground defense is actually really, really nice. If they don't get caught out. Which is difficult when you're up against a Storm Spirit and a Doombringer who's slipping through the bottom lane. Spamping mid lane. And actually committed everything onto that Storm. He's got oh, both the Aegis and the Cheese on him. Paparazzi, they see him. They got double the Doom up again. They definitely know, by the way, that uh, the heroes are there because they know that this Weaver doesn't have a gem. They're going to go in through the south side where they think that Secret are blind. Wait, did, did Puppy see him? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're, they're putting the Observer Ward down. Puppy can see. He's they're going to rock it. He's got the gem of True Sight. He blinks even further into the base. Where and IGV he? should know that this <laughs> this effort is over. Where is he going? <laughs> he, he actually bore lightning oh, up the tree lines. Oh, look his fear! He tried to use the, the force. Way. Yeah, he tried to use force stuff into lasso, but he lassoed into. Well, actually, no, no, there wasn't even a force stuff effect. He lassoed into force. Oh boy. That's wrong. Yeah. Well, tornado can still buy more space. The creep wave's pushing in nicely on the top once more. Now that's they a, know that lasso is down, though. That's a double catapult wave to hit into the tier three tower. But team secret. I don't know if, if IGV are going to be concerned enough about just a creep wave. Lasso. All right, so there's a time window of 18 seconds. They know that mid one doesn't have buyback for two minutes. Doom CPing back. They're too worried about the top lane. Oh, no, they're, they're X marking it. They're going to X him. It's fine. Does he have enough? I suppose if he raises the army of the dead, sure. Ah, look. He's just going to Shiva's them all the way. He's back here now. Kez, uh, Yapsor does have his ultimate up again. They're going to go for an X marks sh shenanigans with uh, Paparazzi. He's going to get halberded, though, by Kezu immediately. He hurricane piked one of the Forge Spirits to get out. <laughs> Buyback is still on cooldown for mid one though. He's yep. got to be incredibly careful here. Oh, here's your jump forward, long jump in. They got the doom. It's over on the Lycan. Remember, Lycan does have that buyback available, so he can trigger now. it now. In fact, that's exactly what he does. Cicada, very, very low on mana. Has the Aegis Immortal Puppy in. Tricks to the trade, starting it off. Yapsaw, there's your lasso. They need to pull Storm Spirit into a bad position. The tier 4 towns be exactly that position. They burn the Aegis the Immortal, but is there more control? Is there another controlling factor to stop the Storm Spirit from doing exactly that? A quick jump out. The Yules is over on the Weaver. Puppy, smoke screen. Now, maybe a little bit more trouble, but double four stars. Gets the Weaver out. It's out of trouble. Mid one. He's actually the man having to fight under the cover of his own BKB. Enjoy holds him here, and now the Chain Frost going to work. Oh, on top bouncing. of Team Secret, they can't escape fast enough, even though the Ice Wall has kept IGV close, and these Tornadoes up in the air, they've got a great vision of the fight, but now they come down to do the damage, MP will fall, and it's Sakata back lines, looking for any kill, he can I get another cheese. Tornado, putting him up and towards the air, the Sun Strikes on the money, Paparazzi so low, Kezu will actually cleave him out with his little troll, moving in for another kill, Sakata has to jump, the Sheevas guard clips him, so he slowed up a little bit, no hook shot available, another jump out, Sakata has got the distance, he's got the speed. Well, actually, not a lot of the speed, but he's got a regeneration rune. The best rune he could have asked for. The movement speed up, the ball lightning down the hill away. He can pick up another one. The deathly oh. blast from mid one can't reach. He's desperately clawing, trying to find an opening, but it just does not exist for the invoker. And all it cost them is paparazzi for that set of racks. They're tier four towers in this mid lane getting beat on as well. Secret trying to force something, trying to the buy the, the buyback. Yeah, they want to get this Weaver to try to buy back, or at least scare him, but... I mean, if you lose the Lycan one more time, the game effectively ends. Buyback is available in just six seconds for mid one, though, so they can't afford to lose him as... In July's moving forward. He's got the gem. He doesn't want to quite commit up the hill, though, without any vision. Yep. Team Secret have to come back anyway. They've lost a tier four tower. The Creepway's pushing in through the bottom. They're, they're forced into recovery mode now. Yeah. No big rush for IGV, but man, imagine if he doesn't find that regen rune. He could have just been chased down. Maybe they can force with two cores down. They would have been able to force one buyback yes, at least. Yes, they force at least one buyback, and then from there the game resets again. Because once we talked about it, it's not a game of racks anymore. It's a game of buybacks. Yep. You're just hitting the racks because it's a way of forcing the fight. Oh boy. The Storm Spirit is preparing himself as well for the split game. BT's now purchased. Finally got rid of the treads. Took him 59 minutes to do so. It's such a good item though on Storm. The attack speed on Storm is so underrated. Well, I suppose he can just keep farming and get himself a Moonshot. It's my favorite thing to do, Tobes. <laughs> Buy items on a Storm Spirit. Blitz's favorite thing to do. This is my 6 lot. 
Not exactly this item build, you wouldn't change anything? <sighs> if it was a pub, I wouldn't have this BKB. <laughs> but in a professional game. In a professional game, Toby. In a game where there are stakes aside from MMR, the long <laughs> zip goes nowhere. That would be... Yeah, what would you get? I don't even know. Would you even get Disable? Hey, what is this? Blitz you would like to recommend never... items in a shop? What are you doing, Blitz? Oh, that's an accident. <laughs> yeah, don't click that Don't click that stuff. That's Blitz would like to recommend an item on a Storm Spirit. I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why he did that. I'm really sorry for the rest of the broadcast that I had to see that. <laughs> oh, it's great. The great thing is because it's also on a sign... That I'd actually do it. goes out to everyone anyway. Ah, <sighs> misclick. Yeah. Whoops. Hey. Paparazzi, Puppy again, putting that gem to good use. Suggestions for Blitz and now that, close! I didn't, close <laughs> I didn't click anything, by the Blitz way. Blitz will no longer be taking your suggestions, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> that... <laughs> He's made up his mind! That was happenstance. I didn't even know that was a feature. I didn't know it was either. <laughs> it's a feature by the looks of it. I don't know what I clicked. I can't replicate that. <laughs> Well, I believe we've now discovered a feature inside of Dota 2 that none of us knew about. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> That's actually a great idea. Everyone suggests me an item. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you've, you've just done a community service blitz. I did. No one knew about that. I'm sure other people knew about that. Okay. Um, in July, okay, back, back to the focus of the game. So there's one hero who's not here, that Storm Spirit, a long way up on the north. Uh, Observer and Sentry is pretty safe, dogfights, actually four-staffing himself up, looking for a target. Yabsaw, they found it! Does he get up the hill? He's just far enough up! Yabsaw's goes in, will protect him, but not from the Storm Spirit! Slices him with lightning! They're looking for another pickoff. It's Kezu, you all stepped defensively up, hook shots out towards Puppy. Needs some more distance, however. The smoke screen may help provide that, the cogs are down, trapping Puppy in for half a second. The clock works down, no buyback available. Shapeshift has been triggered as well. Team Secret on the ropes. Is there any sort of buyback? There's two available. Yeah, Actually, there's Invo one available. Invoker and Batrider. Yeah, They're the ones it. with buyback. Clockwork has none. IG. IGV, they smell blood. Yeah, I want to go for this right now. They're hitting this tower. Target. They're going to force the buyback. It's going to be a four on five fight. Doom pops that BKB. He's got the refresher and the double Doom. Yapsol needs this. He needs this pick he's up. Opportunity. He's looking at the Doom bring a blink last so four staff's gonna drag him in. The Sunstrike doesn't need anybody else coming through, but the meteorite still able to connect over on the Doom bring but in July, BKB protects him from the burn. He actually burnt the refresher just so he could hit that Run BKB. Away, doesn't have the secondary doom, hasn't even tricked the first one yet. Tricks of the trade out. Sakata. BKB for him is gonna wear off right now. So a lot of immunity down. The tornado almost catches him before the jump. It would have been difficult to have a follow-up, but Team Secret keep their top ranks intact. It cost a buyback on Yapsol, however. But we have to remember, he's still the support hero. Yeah, still no important deaths on the side of uh, Team Secret. They still have this mid one. Roshan, the Sunstrike's gonna connect over on dogfights. Quick rocket, they're Zagus. coming over, they're gonna try and contest. They can't let Where's Sakata the get it again. Here comes your tornado flying through, it picks up over on the Kanka. They find the Lich out of position, can you get that ulti off? No, the silence is there, Kezu. Isolates the Doombringer, and there goes your Invoker. A quick buyback, he needs to BT back into this fight. He's doing it to the wolves inside the pit. Oh, I'm gonna get out. to come in through the rear. He wants to fight, he wants to kill off somebody. Doombringer's BKB's already back off cooldown. Kezu, he took shotting away the mid one. He's trying to do this solo oh. in the mid. One on two, or well, two on two. There's your hit pickup. Yapsaw blinks up. He'll find one. Your buyback MP comes in bottom. from the conquer, and they're on the run. Where is the support? Sakata. He's going for it. He's going for the grip. Yapsaw needs to help out. Invoker can't die again, or else that's practically the game. Kezu has dragged the creep wave off. Paparazzi's bringing down the tier three tower with an absolute fury of swipes. And Team Secret have three heroes down with no buybacks, and they call the GG. And once again, Secret split another series. They haven't taken a 2-0 yet. It is Empire, Infamous, TNC, and now IG Vitality, who have drawn with Team Secret. The only team to actually wipe them was LGD, who 2 0 heard them. Secret, though, they had so many different opportunities to try to come back into this game. IGV, though, were so resilient. And the name of the game, Toby, was those Roshans. Yep. Once they got the Aegis on the Storm, they just simply did not have enough to blow them up. They had to commit buyback after buyback. At that Rosh fight, they understood 
They're saying to themselves, okay guys, if we give away this Aegis, that's Mega Creeps. We can't do much about it. We just have to go for it. I agree with their play. I commend them for trying, but they simply just did not have enough in the gas tank to kill that storm twice. They really didn't, and that's going to be the game team secret. Now are at four points after five rounds of matches. This is not a good position for them. This will actually put them down into the lower bracket if this continues on its way. But of course, there are still more days of the group stage to come. IGV should be happy with their results at the moment. They've actually got two ties, one win as well as a loss. So they'll sit themselves at one point in front of Team Secret with one less game played. They still have another one later on today. And of course, there's another stream coming up in just a bit. Blitz and I will be out, but Shiva and Sindarin will step into the casting box to complete up the day here on the second stream, so stay tuned. Bye!